I don't really even need this jacket right now. You don't? Mm -mm. You want me to I'm hold so it? I'm so warm. Let hmm? me hold it then. It's okay. Are you going to put it on? Do a little spinny. Y'all crash it. That looks like a good menu. Spicy sauce, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I mean, a little tangy, uh, right? It's like fish sticks, but like I am. It's actually really good. You know, it's like a fish stick. I know, you know. Don't get that because you're going to get too much fun. I'll do a tiny bit like that. Yeah. I just sprinkle it on my. Like, I did not know about this wall thing. <laughs> I envisioned it a way different way, baby. This is cute. This is cute? Yeah. Yeah, it seems a little bit cozier. Yeah, it's kind of cozy. I don't know why. I, I did not envision this wall thing there. But they're dirty, but we don't wash them from the outside. Oh, okay, so it's not as much room right here, though, because that thing opens up more. Huh? Okay, nice. This is actually pretty good room. I think they cleaned where the laundry is, so yeah, that's what we'll have to them. move it. Oh, <laughs> mm. I thought that's going to be so much more space. This is the closet for us. This will fit all our clothes. This would fit all of our clothes, but remember, we need to put storage. Yeah. It'll go up to almost the door with that stuff. What's going on there? They're cleaning probably where you're to dry. That's a cover. Oh. That's cool that they have one there. Actually, that's actually really smart. That takes off? Yeah, that's really smart for them. Yeah, definitely need to clean it. Hey, babe. <laughs> There's a ring in there. I should have bought the conning thing. That's not that bad of a ring, though. It's 
No, but I should have bought it. I might make you grab it. Oh, there's two bathrooms? There's two doors? There's two doors to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Let me... The sink is so tiny, though. Yeah, Someone did not like to clean the stuff when they lived here. It's actually pretty clean. <laughs> this thing is so much smaller than I thought, baby. <laughs> this thing is so tiny. It's like mini sized. I still like it. Hi. It's, it's a good spot. I like it. Okay, let's see how much room we get so we get sliding stuff. Okay, microwave is in here. And then is the fridge pretty clean? Yeah. They have water that comes in on the side, right? Inside of it? Uh, Nice. Yeah, okay. So I guess the water's green. Well, the toilet water didn't look green. Yeah, but I feel like it's certain days. Certain days, probably. Yeah. So it has another thing like that. I'm going to bring her in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. They really cleaned the oven out, whoever did the cleaning. Like, really good? Yeah, or the uh, people never cooked. <laughs> I don't think they cooked. I think it was they didn't cook, but they did cook on their thing. Look at that shit. I'm going to try and see if I can clean that off because that would be so annoying to me. Did you see that? I like those shelves. Oh yeah, they they freaking never clean the sink. <laughs> I don't get what's up with the little cabinets though. They're so tiny. I'm probably gonna store the cleaning supplies underneath the sink here. <laughs> so they don't have any nets here either. What is up with Florida not having nets to keep bugs out? And like mosquitoes. I do not understand that. Okay, I'm super happy. I showed you guys the stove when we were doing like our walk-in and it looked so dirty and like stained and I was actually just like able to get off the staining and stuff. The sun is kind of shining in certain ways and it's kind of still a little bit wet so kind of has like a rainbow, -y, rainbow effect but still like I was able to clean it off and I ended up using the bar keepers friend this one and it was able to clean it off so if you guys need to get something off like that try this stuff works wonders music so i don't get caught here didn't they redo it i think they did it is a little cute yeah. cute little place i wonder what it looks like inside yeah <laughs> I'm too nice. I'm too tired. This looks like a church. Where? It is kind of cute though. Yeah. It's little, but it's cute. Yeah. I bet you there's no long lines here in the morning because yeah. it's so small. Yeah, I know. Especially in traffic. Numbers. Unless it is. Unless they go around the corners of the houses. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you though. Vita. This looks really good. I got him a chicken wrap, I believe, and I got myself a bagel. I think they toasted it in sperm. And then this is my usual smoothie that I usually get here. We have not ate at all today, and it's already 4.16, so 
I am heading to drop this off for him. I'm gonna eat as I drive, probably, because I'm starving, or at least have my smoothie. And yeah, it's been a crazy day today. Just got back home. Well, it's not really so yeah, home. <laughs> but I'm like, I almost finished drinking that. I had to like stop and get gas after. I got my husband some food. I'm excited to taste their label because I've never had a label of Caribbean. I wonder if it's actually good. I just got to the new place not too long ago. I kind of like laid out tape the other day to see like how our sectional would go. I kind of thought that it was going to be much more room than what it's actually showing down here. Um, I thought we could like put it this way more, but the bedroom door is that way. And then if we do decide to move the two pieces right here, I feel like the hallway to get through is not going to be like enough space. And then I ended up measuring the table and I just went and looked and it's unavailable. So I wasn't able to order it and I don't know if it's going to come back in stock. I might keep an eye on it like this week before I look for a different one because I think it would look so nice because I want to leave like all the room right here and by the refrigerator so that way you can walk through. And I think we'll use like two of our stools that we use usually for like different things like setting our stuff down. Um, kind of like coffee tables, but we're going to use them if guests ever come by and then get probably like two side chairs, actual dining chairs, like on the side. I was originally planning on putting my mirror right here on this wall, but I don't think that's going to work because then it's going to like interfere with this and I won't really be able to get in there and look at myself too good. Or I could cover up this thing because we're not going to have a TV and my husband doesn't really like the whole wall plug and stuff, so maybe we might do that, but I'm kind of happy I was able to, we got three boxes today that I'm going to unpack, and I'm actually making food here for breakfast for the very first time, and then I got glassware that I didn't unpack yet, some stuff in there, and like that was like cleaning box stuff, but I kind of unpacked. We need to move the microwave. I didn't know a microwave is so heavy. Like that microwave is so freaking heavy. I cannot turn it around for the life of me. <laughs> so I need to move that because I wanted to, I like that they have like this space right here. I want to put my bread maker here. I would have originally kept my um, mixer here, but I think it looks so cute on this part of like, I guess when like the door is shut. It just looks so aesthetic and cute with the wall. So I might keep it out. We'll see, but I'm still gonna leave like enough room for it. And then like my tea kettle and stuff, like I wanna leave in here. That way I don't really have to take it out, but I could still like use the plug for it because there's only one plug and it was because of the built-in, I mean the microwave that they have here. Um, there's no plug in the other one, but I kind of messed with all of the, like all the shelves yesterday. Kind of warm in here i need to like open up a window but i messed with the shelves yesterday because i want to like make sure it works out great for like all of our stuff because this is the smallest we've ever like downsized into for like bedroom size because we only have one big closet and one bedroom one bathroom so i'm trying to like fit everything in and i'm used to having like the thing that comes out i know it's like a heater for the oven but i always put all my like most of my long bigger pans in there the cooking baking sheets and now i have to like make room for them i have to make room for everything but kind of have some glassware on here it's probably not going to stay like this i still have like some plates and bowls and stuff to bring from home and decorative pieces so we're going to play around with all of that stuff got my cali coffee today i got a macadamia hot chocolate
that I need to put away. I'm just like trying to see if my built-in like little Amazon thing is gonna fit in here because I feel like I have to put all my extras in here because I always keep like a box filled with extras but I can't keep all these boxes open since like we don't have that much room to store them anymore. So I'm gonna have to like take everything out of the boxes and put everything in but it's kind of nice that like just like everything there's like a lot of drawers and stuff so I'm excited about that but anyway time to go clean I can't keep getting distracted. <laughs> So in here I have some vinegar and then some cold water running in. I'm going to let the greens clean off and then I'm going to rinse it with clean water. So I usually let it soak for like 10 minutes or so. So I forgot my cutting board so this is what I'm using. It's actually working out great. And I'm slicing the potatoes into very thin pieces. You kind of want to slice them as thin as you can and it shortens your cooking time. If you have thicker potatoes it's going to th take like forever. So you just try to make them as thin as you possibly can. And then once, once they're cooking, when you can poke it through really good, that's when you know it's done. All of them are chopped up. I'm using three russet potatoes and like they're huge kind of like the big potatoes. I need to learn how to turn on my oven. I have not used this before. It's fake. I'm gonna do 350, that's fine actually. Let's take a look at it. It's like so clean. I feel so bad for using it right now. Uh, I might put at least a rack down that way. I don't have to get all of them super dirty. But yeah, maybe one more even. And then in here, I'm seasoning it with salt. And then I love this salt. Um, got it from Amazon. Always get it from there. And we've been hooked onto this. It just gives it such a good taste. Paprika, lots of it. And chili powder. I'm probably gonna put in a little bit of black pepper as well. So grab some of that out. And then olive oil. You just want to season it like a lot with the spices or based on like how you like it but that's the olive oil i use we need to start doing this before it changes color because my fan is gone okay so olive oil you want to just sprinkle it all over you don't need too much and show you how I put it in but I'm probably gonna use the bigger end. And then chili flakes or ch chili powder sorry. in there with your hand and just mix it all together. It's very, very beautiful. Waiting for the oven to preheat and then this is gonna go in. I think he got a pound and a half, but still like we love to have extra. So where is this thing written? But yeah, it's a pound and a half. So pound and a half, three potatoes. Usually we do a pound and two potatoes. And I always end up using a whole entire cilantro and a whole entire green onion. 
And I buy this at the Russian store. I usually have them slice it as thin as possible, or I guess like you can decide depending on how you want to do your potatoes. So we got it about this much. So very thin. And then I usually match the potatoes. So I'll just like do four times of cutting it. And there you have it. And then you're just gonna spread it out on top of the potatoes after the potatoes cook. This was definitely not straight at all, but kind of get the point of it. That. I usually try to get a chicken pine, but I think this might be chicken and pork. It's been almost 10 minutes. I feel like this new oven is running a little bit slow, and I'm sure my husband is super hungry. So let's see how I can change up the cooking time. I wonder if I can do that. Okay, I can. Okay, we're gonna do it at 4:50. You can do it like even on broil if you're in a rush you just have to mix it all the time but basically all you're doing is waiting until you can poke it easily with a fork and it looks done and then you're adding in the bologna and then after that looks like it's getting done it's going to start to get goldeny a little bit crispy but you don't want it to get too crispy and then you add in your chopped cilantro and green onion so i'm gonna go ahead and mix it it looks like some of the edges are starting to get done and then i'm gonna add in the bologna i ended up chopping everything right on this paper <laughs> started to kind of cut into the paper down there but i don't have a cutting board i need to bring that Where the thing comes off, hopefully, because that's so weird. Okay, so mix all the potatoes through. Try not to splash on me because I am wearing all white. I would hate to get dirty and not be able to get cleaned up right now. Okay, it still needs to cook, but that's perfectly fine because it will cook as I have like the meat cooking in there, so. I'm just gonna go layer all of this down here and then I'll show you what it looks like before I put it into the oven because I wanna have two hands with it. It's getting so full because these are so thin. This is how I layered it all down. They did slice it very, very thinly this time, so it wasn't as thick enough where it could go in a single layer, and I should have used a bigger sheet pan, but... So this part is probably going to take like 10 minutes. Depending on your heat, too. I can't tell you guys the time, so just watch it. Because you can cook it multiple ways. Either broil, 350... 450 a little bit lower than 450 so just watch it this is how it looks like in this oven so it's starting to crisp up on those sides and it's like pretty much golden and everything so i'm gonna mix it all the way through I usually like it a different way. I gotta get used to this oven because it's not doing the thing that I really want it to do, but this is when you add in your cilantro and your green onions. I'm gonna put it back into the oven for like a minute or two. That way all the flavors can get in there. Oh, done. And get all those flavors in here. I just realized I forgot my sea salt flakes, so while it's still warm, I'm gonna add it on because this gives it like just the best salty taste. Like, it's truly amazing. So, just a big pinch of all of that around, and then I'm just gonna mix it through. I wish I didn't forget it, but I guess I'm like all over the place right now. I 
I am about to go drop this off. I ended up staining my shirt. Like the stuff dropped right there. So I kind of applied some like dish soap because I don't even have any laundry detergent here. So hopefully it doesn't stain by the time I get back to our other place tonight. But anyway, I am off and I'll probably edit this. So this is probably gonna be the ending of this vlog.